Dragon Lamig. Everybody feels ah, it's terrible because all even the toilet the, without a door. So the old gen, the ladies they use the umbrella <laughs> to, to cover the whole thing. But now you know in this 20 years China changed a lot, developed so fast. So everywhere you can see it's very clean and everywhere high speed highway and I think the most uh, I can feel the difference that is first is about uh, you know last time we use many cash everywhere but today everybody use phone use mobile phone we have the Alipay WeChat pay so do you uh, do you find that even at the trans uh, highway station it's bigger and uh, before I graduated in 2000 and the, the teacher said, oh, the city become much bigger than before. Some villagers, so no, all the villagers last time around the city, now they built the, yeah, the high building. The city become 3,000 square kilometers. And the last year, before the Asia Games, have you heard about Asia Games in Hangzhou, right? Last year, I read the newspaper. I find that the government said, that, oh, the city has a square about 12,000 square kilometers. They, they, they had a story. They said Hangzhou is the city for the lovers. Here, a bed in the school. And the two students should share a bed. So that was a stranger boy, right? So if the boy touch her, everything will be fine. And she should back home. So the girl was very smart. Every night before lakeside at a hotel. And uh, after that, we will have the cruise around the whole lake. The lake named the West Lakes. So today, I always tell my son, don't be the stupid goose. That, you, that means you should know how to look after the girls. <laughs> so at last, the girl showed the boy her ears. Because all the girls, they had the... Uh, we call it the earring hall, right? So do you find some here? Why? Because in Ming Dynasty, in the school, years, that was very rude, you know. But this is the same time. 
it's first time for the boy to see his roommate the ear and he find oh you have the earring hole so that is he know the whole thing and they loved each other so much but that story had a very sad ending because the daughter's father he didn't know what happened in the school so he thought he wanted to he should find a good family for the girl for his daughter to marry and he asked his daughter marry to another rich family named the Ma's family but the girl loved the boy so after he found the truth he found his daughter loved a boy but the boy's family was very poor so he wrote a letter to the boy said please give my daughter so poor so this letter make the boy seriously sick because the five young couple separated so the boy was seriously sick we call that as love sick and after that he died so at the uh, uh, boy and she suicide so the father was very not maybe that is the boy and the girl they will stay together forever that 90 percent of those tourists they are domestic tourists, Chinese tourists. And uh, our government said that is our first income, uh, our agriculture, we call the tea leaves because of the special weather and the special soil. So this city very famous for the green tea. We are very proud because we have the best green tea. Have you heard about Alibaba? Alibaba, uh, Taobao, right? Jack Ma's hometown is Hangzhou. So we depend on IT industry, we call the internet. So for example, my husband, he engineer, but IT engineer in this city, yes, they have better income, but they, uh, they work very hard. Hmm. Not really? Not really. <laughs> no, we have the lunch first. Uh, because you know why? We can go to have the lake cruise otherwise you will feel much cold so we have the lunch first and then after the lunch let's have the cruise of the lake and after the cruise of the lake we go to the tea plantation place to drink a cup of tea to try our local tea leaves is that okay yes. okay so our but this city you know we have a very we call it, this is one of the longevity city of the whole china now the average life of the whole country is about 75 years old for the whole country. That means 1.4 billion people average life. And uh, this city, you know, the average life last year is 89 years old. Hmm, 89. So I think, for example, my grandfather today, he's still alive. <laughs> and my grandmother passed away very early. And uh, my grandfather this year, he is 105 years old already. <laughs> one, one, yes. And uh, yesterday, because that is, uh, we call it the Dumplings Festival. Okay, so this is the rest uh, hotel for our lunch. Uh, but it's not the hotel for tonight. Our hotel is better. This is a little bit old. And uh, the restaurant at the fifth floor, five, fifth floor. So when we get down the bus, we take the elevator to fifth floor and uh, to have our lunch.
so we can go to the other side. I know some of us want to take photos uh, later. Uh, about 10 minutes later, when we go to the south side of the lake, there is a very beautiful wedding garden. Do you know what means a wedding garden? Because before we get married, they should take the wedding photos. So we went, to, uh, we look for some beautiful gardens to take the wedding photo. That is a before wedding. Wedding, we should do like that. So we call it, that is the wedding garden area for us to take photo. Very beautiful. Uh, public garden there so we can have some free time there you can walk around and uh, take the photo and after that we take the boat yeah it's about only about uh, 10 minutes so how is the food for lunch is that okay for you yes. Very okay. I like it you know <laughs> not spicy yes <laughs> a little bit of sweet and sour right so that's good right okay uh, let's continue our topic just now some of us said oh gee your grandma grandfather still alive and uh, uh, is she he, she's still active i said yes uh, you know because my grandfather uh, he has a very thing it's a little bit strange lifestyle every day he had a, he has very big breakfast. <laughs> he can eat two bowls of the rice and some meat. He eat the meat in the morning and the eggs also. And the lunch time, he like to drink some wine and also meat and a veggie. But uh, interesting, at night dinner time, he eat very little dinner, very small dinner. Sometimes he forgot the dinner. <laughs> he lived with my mom and my father. Until today, I tell grandfather, so I phoned him. I said, hey, grandfather. And he said, today is cold, be careful. I said, yes, I know. And he said, what's the pro program? So for my, for my family, I always told my parents, my grand grandfather, I said, uh, don't always save money. If you are healthy, if you want to eat something, you just uh, go. And uh, just if you want to go to travel, okay, just let me know. I will give you. The, uh, I will support you for the trip. No worry. If you are you are healthy, that means you save a lot of money for seven people, right? Four parents and uh, one child and both of us. So two of us. Look up the seven. So that's why we said healthy is wealthy. <laughs> okay, do you find that outside is very crowded, right? This is a very famous shopping street in Hangzhou. We call the Yan'an Road. So a lot of the shops here. But uh, maybe you're looking for wonderful shopping, right? But take it easy. We have enough time at Shanghai. So all those things later in Shanghai, you will find it. And we also will go to the market to buy some souvenirs, those things that is in Shanghai, not here. So in Hangzhou, because it's very famous for the sightseeing, for the lake, for the tea plantation. So we just uh, arrange the different itinerary, not always shopping. At least we can see something first, right? Okay, so we go to the lake. And then my grandfather, he said, oh, I will play mahjong. Do you know mahjong? Yes. Mahjong. The, the Chinese mahjong, you know, the, the square, small square one. So for me, I feel very happy. That he makes me very happy because 105 years old, still can play mahjong, right? <laughs> so uh, 15, year, 15 days ago, our whole family, my son, my grandfather, my father, <laughs> four of us, <laughs> stay at the same table to play magic. <laughs> yes, and uh, my, so for me, I always let them win. <laughs> Otherwise, my son will cry. Oh, my grandfather will, will feel angry, so I let them win, <laughs> win a lot. Okay, so now this sun, you find we have a lot of Starbucks. Do you find that? The whole city, total we have 600, more than 600 Starbucks shops. So it's very interesting. The foreigners, you know, I mean the foreigners is from the Western countries. The, 
Yeah. Uh, the foreigners, they always say, the Jing, I saw to the whole city farmers for the tea. Uh, why the people drink coffee, not drink tea here? I said, uh, no, we drink tea, but we also drink coffee. The difference that is, we drink coffee as coffee, but we drink tea as water. Uh, could you mean what I mean? Uh, could, do you know what I mean? Whenever we want to drink water, we just put some tea leaves inside. So the whole day, we just refill water. So we drink tea as water. But maybe uh, once one cup or two cups per day just for coffee. Yes, we not only drink tea, we also drink coffee, drink beer, drink coke, whatever we like, we want to drink. So that's the difference. And all the Starbucks in Hangzhou, they have very good business. And in Shanghai total, 900, more than 900 Starbucks shops <laughs> everywhere. Okay, so just uh, two minutes later, we will reach the place. Don't forget your coat, your camera, your mobile phone, your valuable things. We will stay here about uh, uh, more than one hour for the lake area. So it's a little bit cold, 4 degrees centigrade, and we have with some strong wind, so it's a little bit cold.